Well, it's me, John Burns, with Upstate Brush Control. I'm just going down the road here to a job and been wanting to do a video on my uh, trucks. So I'm gonna try to keep my eyes on the road and not look over here. <laughs> we don't crash at night. But uh, I'm driving my 2017 Ram 5500. Don't ask me what gear ratio and all that kind of stuff is in it. I'm really not sure. It's got the eyes and transmission. It's got the Cummins. It has not been deleted yet. It will get deleted. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, when, I don't know. When I have the extra money. You know how that goes. But uh, it's running fine now. I had some issues with it when I first bought it. I've only had it about four or five months. <clears throat> but uh, the one day I get around to it, it will, it will get deleted. But um, it says the DEF filters... 90 something percent full so we got a little bit of life left out of it i've put cleaner in it all this stuff you spray in there drive it around get it good and hot and it burns it off and it, it seemed to help got some a little bit more life out of it but they say you can only do it so many times anyways moving on so 5500 versus my 3500 ram i have 2014 3500 ram and um, it's a dually and uh, the 5500's name is Bertha I don't I like to name my trucks but and the other one uh, the blue one the dually is named Hips so uh, the 5500 several years ago I was like you know I'm, I'm going to get me a 5500 and man that's going to be the greatest truck ever and um I won't ever need to get another, you know, need a 3500 or whatever. But after buying this 5500, I really realized that I'm glad I didn't go out and buy a 5500 the first go around when I when I upgraded trucks. You know, as my business grew and bigger trailers and all that kind of stuff, bigger equipment, you know, needed something that can tow day in and day out and not have issues with it, you know, safer you know, that kind of thing, wasn't breaking down all the time and stuff, but, so that's what I went with, uh, my 3500 dually, and, you know, at, at that time, I was really looking at a flatbed as well, so maybe, maybe I should get a flatbed and 5500 or 4500, but, um, I wanted the versatility of the back of the pickup truck, you know, as opposed to a flatbed with boxes and stuff like that. Because my fifty foot, or my thirty five hundred is was my daily driver too. I, that was the only truck I had at the time. So I would at the end of the day, I'd unhook the trailer, then leave the trailer at the shop or whatever, and you know I have to rehook back up at night and stuff like that. But, so back to the fifty five hundred. It's a great towing truck. It'll pull in. It pulls no problem. Um, it's it's a Laramie. This one is the Laramie. It, it's got a lot of bells and whistles. Doesn't have a sunroof though, which is fine with me. I'm just gonna get sunburned. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's got the heated seats, heated cooled seats. It's got a re heated rear seats and stuff, and it's got the nice trim package on the inside. And it does have rubber floor mats, no carpet, which is fine with me. Just less the maintain on that stuff, but, um, the 5500, the suspension, it doesn't help the tires, I got on it. it, it rides very, very rough, you know, if you unhook the trailer, I mean, you're bouncing all around, going down the road, but the, the 3500, is, it's, you know, it's a, so much smoother, we got Michelin tires on it, and it rides great, I think, for a 3500 dually, as opposed to this thing. This thing, if you're empty, you know, you're going down a bump, bumpy country road, you're all over the place. That's ridiculous. But the 5500, it's it's very, uh, you know, 
even with 3,500, I feel like it can handle the, the weight I pull. I, we pretty much pull right around 18, 19,000 pounds every day. You know, that's trailer, skid steer, cutter head, some tools, fuel, you know, stuff like that. So right around, I'd say it's right around 19,000. And to pull that every day, you know, I'd say we, most jobs we do, it's a, it's a one day job. So we're in and out in one day. Um, the job we're going on today, it won't take us but till two, three o'clock. And we're going to move right over to another job, which will take us two days, hopefully. That's usually how my jobs go. I don't like the big work. I don't like the big mulching jobs. Um, I like the little stuff, get in and out, get paid quick, that kind of thing. A lot of guys really look for the big 15, 20 acre jobs, and we, we like to focus on the little stuff. A lot of guys don't like the little stuff because you have to, you know, mobility wise, but I don't mind it as much. But, but back to the 5500. I've been very pleased with it. It pulls great. Um, as far as, you know, trailer making the truck bounce around and stuff like that, it doesn't really at all. I mean, handles it just fine, but I'll get some video of the outside of this truck and then we'll do a video of the inside of the other truck. Hey, here I am in my Dodge Ram 2014. 3500 uh, you guys like the hat V belt and sun hat right there if you guys haven't checked out his channel I'm sure you have everybody's checked out V belt's channel but um, he hooked me up with a hat when I was out there and he's giving me a hard time about not wearing it so there you go Sam I have worn your hat before <laughs> just failed to get it on video for you but anyways so we uh kind of little video of this truck versus my 5500 the biggest difference I would say they both have about the same power they both yeah the 5500 pulls a little bit better it's got you know stiffer suspension and everything but the biggest thing and Sam's talked about this as well is stopping you have that much weight pulling down the road I feel like these brakes could be a little bit bigger on this truck um, lot better bigger better on the 5500 but this truck worked great for us for we pulled that trailer and that machine around for three years of this truck something like that did just fine not any terrible issues with it you know but another thing this truck has been deleted um i went up tearing up the turbo in it got a new turbo put in when we did that we went ahead and got like a little package deal you could say we got the uh, five inch exhaust it was straight pipe and then that lasted about a week I'm like that's a bunch of nonsense I was going deaf my kids didn't even like riding in the truck and they're like daddy it's too loud it's too loud it was pretty loud but we we got rid of that and put a muffler on there but it's still five inch but she sounds pretty good but we got a little knob down here underneath the dash I'll show you that in just a second but um, so it's kind of like the bank six gun or whatever. I think this one only got five clicks. So every, uh, click is, uh, 10 horsepower, I believe. So we got five somewhere in there. She'll get on down the road. Let me tell you, son, it, uh, every now and then I'm feeling good or yeah, I don't do a pulling, but you know, just basically goofing off, having fun. She runs like a scalded dog, but <laughs> Yeah, it's been uh, it's a fun truck to drive. That's for sure. So right down here, that's I got my uh, this is my for my fuel pump in the back. That's I got bed lights in the back, and then this is my knob right here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five clicks. Go ahead and crank her up here. I'll show you guys this. I do not do this towing. You'll destroy your truck for sure. But. uh she, she, she'll run, that's for sure. <laughs> I love it. Look at these guys working away.
Oh man, they're gonna shoot me for that one. That was Josh and Willie. They work for me. <laughs> oh man, I couldn't resist. That's that's the most I like pretty much do with it, you know. Just it's stupid, but. All right, so back to the trucks here. <clears throat> the 5500, you know, it's a great truck, love it. But if you're just pulling a seven, 8,000 pound machine around, you know, dually, really isn't necessary. You can get by with a single wheel, but for what we do, you know, the weight we pull every day, so I went with the 5500, but it's a good truck. They're both really good trucks. Had very little issues out of them. Most of the stuff that breaks on them is, uh, I say breaks that I've had issues with, like that one we had turbo issues, and that's because I was turning around in the woods on a job and cracked the front uh, cooler down there. I cracked this cooler right in here. And um, turbo couldn't get cool, so damaged turbo, had to get a new turbo. But that's really the only issues I've had on them. But we keep them maintained pretty good and stay on top of all that stuff. But yeah, this is our trailer right here that we pull pretty much every day. Uh, this, this job's a little unusual, it's a little bit. We're here for, this will be the third day we're on it. Two and a half days, I guess, but. My gator made. Yeah, it's a 20 foot deck, 5 foot dovetail. Dexter axles. I'm very, very pleased with this trailer. Bought it brand new. But, uh, yeah, 17,300 is my gross on the, the trailer that I can have. Yeah, I guess that's the weight. You have an empty weight, 7. I think that's right. Yeah, here we go. So, um, GBW is, is 24,900 pounds. That's everything. So, my uh, inspection sticker, everything got erased when we lost it. But, and this is my brother's tilt trailer. We borrowed him from him. And very gracious to let us use it but uh that's pretty much my setup what we got we're pulling the excavator and the skid steer around so hope y'all enjoy the video i'm not real big into the truck stuff as far as uh gear ratio and all and all that kind of stuff I mean, i'm pretty mechanically inclined but I'd have to look it all up as far as what I know they both got eyes and transmissions. Um, as far as what gears and all that kind of stuff. I'm not a gearhead, let's put it that way. Ask Sam with V belt, he'll probably be able to tell you just by looking at it when you get this light fixed here. But uh Thanks again for watching y'all. Hope you enjoy the videos. And uh keep subscribing, thumbs up and all that kind of stuff, and we'll keep trying to get some good videos out there. So thanks again.